one thing he told me was, hey, I had to cancel my tea time every single day. And there's uh, Alexander Dogopolov's coach in the green there. Jack Rita. Ladies and gentlemen, the team of Federer Vavrinka won the He's an Aussie, and he has a uh, wonderful spirit, much like that of his of his man Alexander Dogopolov. Their spirits are very similar, and you know, I think they have a good combination. Yeah, and that's probably what makes for a good partnership, isn't it? Robert, Robbie, you knowing uh, playing a lot of you know matches and singles prior to playing a lot of doubles matches, how difficult is it to, to get back out on the court following a singles loss, particularly when it when it means so much? Yeah, I think it's a good thing. I think as soon as you get back on the horse, the better. So I think this might be a blessing in disguise for Roger. Of course, he's going to be disappointed, but you know they play well here, get the win. It'll definitely ease the pain. Confirmation of this men's championship match. Alexander Dogopolov from the Ukraine and Xavier Melis from Belgium taking on the two Swiss men, Roger Federer and Stanislas Vavrinka. Weather just about perfect right now. And has dropped into the 60s. The lights are on, but uh, the sun is still out. And this crowd looking for some really special doubles. They're going to see some exciting shots from both sides. Stan Vavrenka will get us started. The best two out of three sets. Deciding point, 3L scoring system. If we go to a third set, match tiebreak. Yours, no, yours. <laughs> what's, a, what's a doubles partner's favorite word? Yours. Especially if you're a little tight or nervous. Uh, I tell you, those two will be pretty relaxed. They don't know how to get up tight. Stan Vavrinka, 25 years of age, currently resides in St. Barthelemy, Switzerland. Six feet tall, 174 pounds, turned pro back in 2002. And strangely enough, now coached by the Thank man that you. took Thank Roger Federer to number one. That's right, Peter Lundgren. There's Pete. Told me that uh, he had spoke to Roger just prior to the match and wanted to make sure that he let Stan know that he was going to be there for him. And uh, he felt that uh, Federer carried Stan yesterday in the match against Nadal and Lopez, and maybe it was going to be up to Stan to try to carry them and get Roger's spirit back into this one. That's what a partnership is all about on the days that uh, you're not playing well yeah, to yeah, align your partner. Yeah. On the days that when you're struggling, it's when yeah, yeah. your mate's got to step up. Happy you're joining us here for this one alongside Robbie Koenig. I'm Doug Adler and uh, quite a day of tennis. Rafael Nadal beating Juan Martin Del Potro and uh, Novak Djokovic having a nice third set victory over Federer. But this is men's doubles and we are looking at uh, a new partnership. These guys playing together for the very first time and actually because of their result, they're gonna continue playing together with each other throughout the European clay court system. Or I should, say, I should say European clay court tournaments. You know, Robbie, they always try to get, figure out who they're gonna play with well in advance. And Melis and Dogopolov, really enjoying their experience together. Dogopolov was signed up actually to play in Europe with Florian Meyer, the German. Yeah, but uh, it's not the case any longer. Yeah, a lot more traditional doubles this. Yesterday we saw 
a lot of points being exchanged from the back of the court. And Lopez in particular, not all that keen on getting forward and uh, hitting volleys. Again, Melissa makes it up, serving volley. More often than not on first serve, but 